You might recognise this design from the cover of Joy Division's debut album, Unknown Pleasures. But did you know that it represents pulses of energy from a star that is over 900 light years away from Earth? When some stars reach the end of their life, specifically those with a large mass and much bigger than our sun, they explode as a supernova, and what's left over can either become a black hole or a neutron star. A pulsar is a particular type of neutron star that spins very quickly and emits regular pulses of radiation. They emit these beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles, which sweep around like a lighthouse as the star rotates. This is detected as a consistent pulse by radio telescopes here on Earth. At first, we thought these pulses of radiation could originate from aliens because of how regular they are, and unrecognized signals like this earned the nickname LGM, or Little Green Men. But how do you even detect these signals? This is the Interplanetary Scintillation Array. Four acres, or 57 tennis courts, of copper wire and cables arranged to form a radio telescope and built in Cambridge in 1967. It looks a bit different from other telescopes you might have seen, but it still works on the same principles of collecting electromagnetic radiation so that we can see what's happening in space. It was designed by radio astronomer Anthony Hewish, but not intended to look for pulsars. Hewish supervised a postgraduate student called Jocelyn Bell Burnell, who was responsible for checking over the chart papers from the telescope by hand. Not long after the telescope was switched on, Bell Burnell noticed an anomaly on the charts, one that she'd remembered seeing before in the same part of the sky. Hewish was unconvinced at first that it was anything more than an anomaly, but after corroborating the signal on a second radio telescope, it was undeniable. Bell Burnell had found the first pulsar. Signals from this same pulsar, CP1919, were plotted by student Harold D. Kraft Jr. for his PhD thesis at Cornell University in 1970. Kraft Jr. used a program to plot 80 consecutive pulses at a slight angle. So he said that it would look like you were looking up at a hillside. Little did he know that years later it would be spotted in a book by designer Peter Saville and used for the iconic Joy Division album art. Explore our collections online and visit our new space gallery to discover more incredible objects in person.